Hey, what's going on? It's Lucas and it is raining a little bit. So I'm gonna probably make this really quick. I do this really weird thing where I don't have an umbrella. I refuse to wear an umbrella. It's like this mental toughness thing. I'm like, if I can't walk in the rain for 10 minutes, then, um, then I have problems. So I do this really weird thing, but then I always get wet. So I'm gonna make this quick. <laughs> This was a awesome question or a topic that came up in one of my lives. And it was like, how do you find the people that support you? Or how do you find the support? How do you make people believe in you? How do you have friends and family believe in you? And I have these few words that I use to repeat to myself until you build the momentum. And you'll probably still repeat it to yourself. And it's keep showing up. Keep showing up. If no one believes in you, keep showing up. If everyone doubts you, keep showing up. If what you did didn't work last week, keep showing up. And why these words are so powerful is that you really don't have a reason for anyone to believe in you. I had, who was this? I had this like weeks ago. Someone was like, nobody, nobody believes in what I'm doing. I was like, have you given them a reason to believe in anything that you've done? or everything you've started, have you stopped? Because after a while, people will stop believing you and it's not up to them anyways. Keep showing up and I guarantee you a funny thing happens is a few weeks or a few months or a few years from now, everyone who didn't believe in you, who didn't support you, will begin supporting you. And they don't mean anything by it early on, believe me, they don't mean anything by it. They just want the best for you. So don't take it personally, just keep showing up. No matter what anyone thinks, you will find your tribe. You know how like your vibe attracts your tribe? And there's truth to that. I had to give up a lot of friends, a lot of people when I first started this journey because they kept weighing me down. They kept telling me what to be careful of. What about this? That's not safe, that's not right, that will never work. And they didn't mean anything by it, but I gave them no reason for them to believe in anything few years later, there's a lonely period where you're an entrepreneur, you're just doing your thing. No one understands you, you're doing it, but that vibe, that energy, and the commitment to showing up and doing it over and over and over again, eventually attracts the right people into your life. And now I get to enjoy a very tight circle, but that circle, if I have an idea of like, I'm going to the moon next week, they're all just like, how can we support you? How can I help you make that happen? Completely different attitude than the people I used to know of. Well, I don't know, that'll probably never work or that can't work or you can't do that or you can't do this. <sighs> keep showing up, keep showing up. Write it wherever you have to, in your wallet, on your wall. Have it taped to the dashboard of your car. If you don't have a car because you're grinding and you're starting right from the bottom, keep it on the back of your cell phone or whatever you're watching this on or on your laptop and anything, keep showing up no matter what, keep showing up. I truly hope that helps and watch in a year or two years who is in your circle or who is around you. It's going to blow your mind. You could be in a completely different place in six months, 12 months, 24 months, depending on how much work you actually put into it, in a completely different place. I truly hope that helps and I truly hope that helps answer your question. For absolutely anything else, www.lucasrubix.com. There's one more thing, a little bonus. If you made it this far, a little bonus. Uh, sometimes when I'm doing these videos where I'm walking around, people are like, man, I try to do videos in public, but I stop because, uh, you know, I care what people think or what do people think or I don't want to be waving a selfie stick around. Keep doing it anyways. After a few of these, you really don't care anymore. I'll walk down the middle of Times Square with a selfie stick talking about a topic that I'm passionate about. And if people want to judge that, I guarantee you they're content consumers and not content creators like you. Truly hope this helps. Again, www.lucasrubix.com for absolutely anything else. If you're interested in working with us, taking your message, taking your mission, taking those gifts you have, taking that thing you want and turning it into something that not only serves the world, but makes you money, reach out, lucasrubix.com. Let me know what you thought at the bottom of this video. Uh, your comments do help continue the conversation. A lot of these videos are made from comments that you leave. Truly hope this helps and I'll see you in the next video. When did wanting more become such a bad thing? I've always lived my life with the simple philosophy that when everyone is going left, you go right. When everyone is doing things one way, you go the other. You do not conform, you do not blend in, you do not blindly follow the masses. For as long as you stay a sheep, you will never get what you want. Now, all I'm asking you is that you go after that thing you want with a relentless drive, no matter what anyone 
thinks of you, no matter what the world says of you, no matter how you feel or how tired you may be, you go after it like your life depends on it. The only question I have for you is are you willing to do whatever it takes?